Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's whatever Wednesday, and we're not whatever, and we're Topps Chrome updating still. Because the Lucky Cup has been hitting like Juan Soto and Alex Bregman carrying their bats down to first base. Uh, I thought I'd bust out both of the Tier 1 autos to celebrate that stuff because it was some of the funniest things I've seen in the World Series in a while. The post games were also awesome because Bregman was in his interview saying, I wasn't raised to play that way and I feel bad about carrying my bat down to first base. And then Juan Soto in his post game says, I thought it was one of the coolest things I'd seen. So when I hit my home run, I wanted to carry my bat down there. Uh, so I just thought I'd bust out both of the recent auto pickups, and boy, did I pick them up at a good time, uh, because the Lucky Cup wants to carry its bat down to first base. It's been hitting well for us. We've been pulling multiple Tatis and Alonzo cards, both of the pink refractors, pulled an auto yesterday. The only thing we really haven't pulled a lot of is, uh, some Eloy, uh, and some Vlad Jr., so I'm hoping today's break is going to deliver some of those. Uh, but before I get into the break itself, a while back I picked up a couple Fat Packs of Tops archives because they looked fat, like beyond normal fat. Now, if you watched a while back the Unicorn episode where I broke that fat pack of Allen and Ginter that had the dual auto relic book in it, this was what jumped out at me was that when I can see the white on the side. So this is a very regular looking fat pack, right? And pretty much every archives and most fat packs are really cleanly wrapped like this. So these really jumped out at me when I saw them. They even feel a little bit different. Uh, just like the Allen and Ginter pack did. So my question to you, my fab subs, is should I rip these in like a turn two uh, or should I do them on a Facebook exclusive? Uh, I just, I'm not really sure when I or what I should do to rip these, uh, but I want to do it soon because I don't know if they're hot packs or not, but it, I think it'll be pretty cool. This one was in pick a pack. It's going to go back and pick a pack. Uh, so we will get to that eventually, but uh, really curious to hear what you folks think about those and what I should do with them. Okay, so let's rip the value pack first, because we ripped the the mega box first yesterday and got our auto out of the way very early. Um, as I rip into this, as always, check the description below for the link to the Clary Goldberg Scholarship. I know a lot of people have been reaching out saying they can't find any Chrome to update in their area. So to those folks, uh, I got to say, I just, I got lucky. Uh, I went back to Target to pick up groceries uh, like two days after I got the mega boxes and a couple value packs, and it was gone. There was no more Chrome update. Um, and then you heard me mention that the bulk of my value packs I got on eBay, and I did pay a premium for them. Uh, it's just the kind of product that people jump on, uh, and they buy it out really, really quickly. So uh, if you see cards that you like, for less than the standard, what I suggest is a $25 pledge uh, to the scholarship for cards. If you see something you really want and you want to do, you know, like a couple bucks or something, uh, just reach out to me and we'll, we'll get that. Because I want you to be able to have the Chrome Update cards uh, if you haven't been able to get any and you want to try to maybe save a little bit off eBay and do a little good in the world with me. Because that's really what it's about. Uh, you're not buying cards. You're making a donation to a worthy college, college scholarship and getting cards is like a perk. These are beautiful indeed. The really nice refractory stuff in those 150 and family business. I did see that um, Jabs, Eric Jabs pulled a Luke Voigt auto uh, yesterday out of his Top Scrum update break. He broke a mega box and a couple value packs. Also pulled his auto out of the mega box. Whoa, I have not seen anybody pull this before. That is awesome. Not numbered or anything, which usually they're not. Numbers, uh, Numbered cards are really tough to pull out of here. Uh, I just want to make sure that... Okay, nice, nice. You know, I, I'm trying more this year to penny sleeve Chrome up Chrome quickly uh, because they do sometimes can they can scratch not always it's it's just kind of a weird thing that happens um some cards scratch easy and some don't 
we'll schmutz out of there. Wow, have not seen that pulled. That's an awesome pull for sure. Dig that. Dig that. Wow. Again, lucky cup. Hitting, hitting big time. You, you love this Chrome update, huh, Lucky Cup? Uh, I don't blame you. It's a fun one to rip. Uh, I got to say, you know, you've heard me say it a lot as a budget collector. Um, I don't buy a lot of hobby boxes or anything like that. But I did wind up spending more on Topps Chrome update than hobby boxes. Um, and so while I am ripping a, a pretty good amount of it, uh, that's just because I went out on a limb and I, I spent. I mean, oh, yeah, I have not pulled that one yet either. And another double. Cody Bellinger chasing his dad, who's got two rings with the Yankees. So I've seen other people pull this card, but I was hoping to pull it too because I do sort of side PC Acuna and Albies. Uh, I am a fan. Um, and that's a really cool one. And I got to say, the OxyClean jumps out at me like crazy. But just a really cool card, really cool card. All right, let's set them over here with Crash and Nuke. Let's see what our pinks deliver. Come on, let's get a, a Vladdy pink or an Eloy pink. Austin Riley pink. I know uh, Fab Sub Jason Wento and a few other Braves fans are really big on him. And Nate Lau or Lowe? Can never remember who is who. There's Brandon Lowe. I think it's Brandon Lowe and Nate Lau, both on the Braves. Uh, so, yeah, so I know Jason Winter and other Brave fans are big on this kid. Um, and if he can come up and do what he does uh, or what they hope he can do, let's take a look at the back of his card. Um, the Braves with Acuna and Albies and Freddie Freeman and just, I mean, they are going to be stacked. Not bad, 294 average, 19 homers. That's pretty good. We'll see how that goes. Watch out for the Braves. Watch out for the Braves and the Blue Jays because they are stacked like crazy too with basically the uh, all the kids. What do I call them? The, the Toronto Progenies. I don't know why the word. The Paterfamilias from uh, Oh Brothers jumped in my head. I'm a Paterfamilias. That's what the Blue Jays just have Paterfamilias kids everywhere. All right. Mega Box. That was a pretty good value pack to pull that Vlad, I gotta admit. And an Austin Riley pink, not too bad. It's fun to look back too sometimes because I'll, I'll go back through and not realize that I had a good pink. Um, and I think I last year I did pull pretty much all of them. I pulled Acuna and Albies, um, Juan Soto, uh, and a bunch of other ones. I mean, it was, it was great. I don't know how I wound up getting so many of those um, when I... I want to say they were out of the base, but they're pretty sweet. All right. I'm going to go backwards because if we did pull another big hit, it was like the second pack. So let's go from the bottom to the top. Mix it up a little bit. All right, Lucky Cup. I know you're feeling it. You're feeling it. We went in reverse. Value pack first, Mega Box second. Let's get it. Another Austin Riley. There we go. There's my Eloy. I think I had one, but uh, definitely wanted a couple to maybe either give away or spoils pack. Now we're just chasing another Vlad. Ooh, is that something? Kershaw. Lindor. Nice Teddy Ball game. I saw a crazy article today that was talking about how, I mean, it was an opinion piece about how they think Greg Bird and Luke Voigt should both be traded um, and maybe to get pitching or Francisco Lindor, which is why I was thinking that with that card. And I thought, what? Why would we want Francisco Lindor? He's an excellent player, but with Thyra Estrada as a potential shortstop, I just thought, that's very a weird thing, so I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, you get out there on the hot stove and people, they, they say crazy stuff. Oh, it's an orange. I thought it looked weird, and I didn't see the number. Spencer Turnbull, out of 25 out of 25, it's the bookend. 
I thought it looked extra thick. That's why you saw me do that. All right, so there's a hit. Lucky Cup. I don't know really anything about Turnbull. I do know that as I have been more and more in collecting this year, uh, in the last two years, that um, pit, you know pitchers are great, but they don't hold the same kind of demand. I don't want to say value because I say it all the time. It's only worth what someone's willing to give you for it. But um, pitchers just don't seem to have the same demand that position players do. But this is the first and only orange I've ever pulled. And, of course, to get the bookend is sweet. If I know that uh, there are Tiger fans out there, folks, um, you know, like Triple Crown 24 and um, Caitlin at A League of Their Own. I don't know if anybody out there would be interested, but I'd be happy to send that to somebody if you want. I just want to check the odds here. Orange Refractor, one in 734 packs. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's, it's a nice looking card for sure. Oscar Mercado. Getting into a little bit of doubles. I know Jabs mentioned the collation as well. It's pretty standard. We're seeing a lot of the same stuff come out. So, you know, set that's only 100 cards, we're bound to, but that's also good for giveaways, spoils packs. I was going to say, I wonder if we'll get the Pete again because this was the same pack as yesterday where I pulled Tatis and Pete Alonso in the same pack. And I believe it was Ketel Marte also in the middle. So we are racking up the Alonzo and Tatises. Let's just get it. Look at this. Because I got all my extras around here. Look at that. Get some. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good times. Good times. Shenanigans. This is like beyond classic shenanigans. We're... The hot hand is still around, I think. Um, I was a little worried I had burned it out. But we are still rolling. And there we go. A Derek number two. Derek Jita. Have not seen that one yet. So that's going to be a great one for the PC. Already. I mean, we're down to the last pack. So last two packs. This has been another good one. Kenny Griffin. Crone. Look at that. Look at the rainbow on that, baby. Just beautiful. Chrome is where it's at. All right, last pack. We already pulled our hit, so are we going to get a little last pack mojo lucky cup? I think that would be pretty bonkers if you did deliver something. Been living pretty large here. Kimbrel, Vigio, and Goldschmidt. Not bad. Boy, the, the Vladdies are tough pulls. Uh, it's making me glad I did get a little bit more of this because... Really, I, I can't remember. I think I might have pulled one of the top scorm. I'll go back and look at Vlad Guerrero. Um, but other than that, this, and I think it was the rookie debut card. But this is the only other one, and that is pretty crazy to have them to be pulling that many Alonzos, that many Tatises, a couple Kayvon Biggios, uh, and not really much in the way of Vlad uh, is interesting. So, wonder what to, to make of that. Uh, but leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's Whatever Wednesday. And let me know who you think is going to win the World Series. I don't really have a prediction because it has just been a kind of bonkers World Series. You heard me mention it yesterday. And then they were mentioning it a lot in the broadcast during the game yesterday that the road team has won every game. Uh, and that's never happened in any sport in history through the first six games of a seven-game series. So if history is any indication, maybe that means it's the Nationals' night. Uh, they have seemed to be a team of destiny. Uh, and so let's just get a little final look at Bragg and Juan Soto, two big-time heroes of the World Series so far. Um, should be interesting to see how it plays out. So uh, looking forward to reading your comments. Hopefully we've got a good uh, Throwback Thursday schedule for tomorrow. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.